Okay, so we're on a 2013 Camaro, and these 5th gen Camaros have a problem with the blend air door, uh, the, the end that the actuator engages, it breaks, and then you lose your heat in your cold selection. So, and, and basically what happens is you usually, at least all the ones that I've seen, you only have heat. Uh, the way it breaks, it, it allows all the air to go through the heater core. It doesn't block any of it, and you get no cold air. So in the, in the wintertime, you're going to be okay because you'll have your heat. But in the summertime, uh, you don't have no way to block that heat and have cold air only go through the evaporator so you get nice cold AC. And... Uh, and I've replaced a couple of these blend air doors. I've actually done about five of them. If you saw my video uh, that I did, I guess I did it maybe a year or two ago. The uh, and and it involves cutting the side of the case out. Otherwise, you have to. The, the quotes that I've heard online anywhere from about three thousand to forty five hundred dollars to have the entire dash removed. Now, to do it right, and the way the dealership is going to do it is you have to remove the windshield also because there's two bolts that go up they're somewhat long and the windshields it, it blocks those bolts you can't get those bolts out unless the windshields out so that's why it costs so much to have that done so there's kind of a hack uh way of doing it um i use a hot knife because it leaves the narrowest seam uh to be able to get that that panel out and i'll put a link up top here uh going to that video to where you can see what i'm talking about because it's only a matter of time before that blend air door breaks now there's a there's a way you can minimize the uh the chance of that happening and that's what we're here today to talk about and i'm going to show you how to do it you have to have a scan tool so you're going to have to either go to a shop or find someone with a scan tool we're going to go ahead and turn the car on uh, that way we can get our scan tool hooked up so let me show you what what you got to do and it, I mean it's a real fast and easy process it shouldn't cost much uh, if you had to take it to, to a shop to have this done uh, we'll do auto selection let it read the bin And the only blend air door that that does break on these Camaros is just the the uh, uh, blend air door. The mode door doesn't break, and neither does the recirc door. Okay, so we're on a, uh, this is a V6 Camaro. Uh, any fifth gen Camaro is going to have this problem, whether it's SS or anything. Um, transmission's automatic, which doesn't really matter in this case. I'm going to roll the windows down. It's getting kind of hot. And you can go to a shop and you can tell them that you want to have the, uh, the, the procedure that we're going to do is the uh, actuator door calibration. So we're going to go to the HVAC module. HVAC control module. special functions and see where it says the HVAC actuators learn so what this is going to do is it's going to put the the car's computer in a test mode to where it's going to drive all three uh, doors all the way to one extreme all the way to the other extreme from stop to stop when the door now the actuator has no way to know where the stops are at but when it's doing this when it when the door itself hits the stop to where it can't go anymore the uh the computer senses that the actuator is drawing more current than it was when it was able to when the door was in transition so in other words the doors in transition we're just going to say it draws one amp whenever it's transitioning the door well then the door stops the actuator is going to try to still drive it but the computer is going to sense, okay, now it's drawn three amps because it's trying to drive a door that it can no longer drive anymore. And now the computer knows, okay, that must be the stop. So it, it remembers where that, actuator's, where that actuator was at 
when the current draw went up and then it starts reversing it and goes back to the other stop the full close and the full open and it re it teaches the actuator that's all the way to you know we'll just say close and it's all the way to open and from that point on um whenever you take your uh control to either full heat or full cold the computer knows okay well the stop is right here so we're only going to drive it so far and that's where we're going to stop it and it won't put the undue stress on the actuator and that's that's what happens is it either gets out of cal or at the factory the the car's computer they say is able to do that on its own without a scan tool the problem is obviously it's not because I've seen these blend air doors break at about 80,000 miles and up about a, to, to, to about 140,000. It's very unlikely. You're, if you're in between that mileage, it's just a matter of time before your door breaks. So all you got to do before it breaks, take it to a shop with a scan tool. Tell them you want them to perform an actuator's learn. So we're, we're set up, ready to go. I'm going to hit it. And I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but... Uh, what it's going to do is, okay, key is on. We're going to hit continue. I don't know if you can hear. The actuators. But it drives them all the way one way, all the way the other way, and uh, teaches the computer that, you know, where the stops are at. That way, from that point on, it's not going to try to overdrive the, uh, the door. And that's all there is to it. Turn the key off. Turn the key back on. We'll hit continue. We'll go ahead and clear any DTCs that was set. And that's it. I mean, it literally takes about, well, you saw, when it, once it started, I forget what the second countdown was, 20 seconds or 30 seconds or something. So a shop that normally charges, if they charge a, a one-hour minimum, it might cost you 100 bucks to have them do this. It should. I mean, it shouldn't cost any more than that. Um, some shops charge uh, a minimum of a half hour, so if their shop rate was $100 and, and they're only charging a half hour, it should only cost you about 50 bucks to have someone do this. So I just wanted to go over that. So if you have a Camaro that the door has not broke yet, go in and have them do an actuator's uh, learn, and it'll calibrate all, all three of the, uh, the, actuator, the actuators for you. And that will lessen your chance of that blend air door breaking. Anyway, that's about all I've got. Just kind of wanted to show you that here on the Autel. Any any high-end scanner is going to be able to do the same the same test. You guys take care.